sexy people. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, here's my huge glass of rose. Cheers. Happy Memorial Day weekend, y'all. What are you not doing? Hey, babies. Aw, oh, damn, I don't have a candle lit. You know how much I love tra tradition, lighting a candle. Oh, hey, girl. Okay, Diana is here. I'm about to add her. Stay healthy, okay? This is <laughs> my sister poured me a glass of this no sugar cranberry juice before we started. She's like, no UTIs in this family. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? You started singing. I was like, oh, we doing that today? <laughs> I just can't be stopped, you know. I can't be tamed. I'm just you like sound amazing. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Diana. For everybody, um, if you guys haven't heard Wasted Youth yet, this project is so friggin' amazing. So I just want to big up my friend because you are, you're incredible. You really are. So I'm really, really, and all the visuals that you're doing it, I know you're, you're really spearheading all of it. I mean, I'm at home, I'm editing, I'm doing, I did all, like, all the little visuals for this project, yes. There's, like, yes. These, these little um, shorts that go along with every song. So, yes. I put my soul into everything I do. Yes. Can you can you tell me, because I haven't seen you in an ill minute, and I feel like last time I saw you, you were telling me about your home, and you, have you been gardening and doing a lot um, of, like, outdoor got, things? Yeah, I got all my seeds. Like, I'm a little bit crazy with it. I have all, I have like the futuristic um, apocalypse box. So I've got all the seeds for the future. Like what? Can you share with me or no? Can you tell me, tell me what they are? All right, so let me show you from death. So like, I don't know, there's this thing, like I've just always been into conspiracy theory, book of Eli type shit. Mm. And like always getting, you gotta be prepared. So always getting ready for anything that can go down. And so you you were ready for this? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. You <laughs> were ready. To show you. So I've got my book on like just in case we had to go to the to Griffith Park and survive <laughs> out there. <laughs> like we got no phones, but we know. Okay, these are like, the ones we're gonna eat. Right. I was like, so I was gonna be the leader of the pack. <laughs> I love it. I'd be like. Taste the poop on the ground. This is fresh. Let's not go this way. Go this way. Lick the air. The okay. sediments aren't correct. Yeah. So I've got my <laughs> my bushcrafts. These are really things I'm into, Joe. And you just didn't know, like, no. Just, like at night, I'm <laughs> I'm practicing like my drills. I'm are you serious? Go. I'm so serious. You know, I'm I, so that's, I love these hidden treats about you, actually. <laughs> Surprise. I mean, and the last time we actually like really hung out was one when you were working on your project in the house. Yeah. And then before that, you took me to a Pilates class and I was like, mm -mm. I saw you at Francia's yoga class. Oh, yeah. That's when I, I saw you. That. Yes. And then we were talking about Jamaica, which I still haven't been. I know. We, well, as soon as it opens back up, the truth you, still, is you still got the hookup? I still got the hiccup. Okay, that's what's Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. I love it. Do you make music there? Yeah, there's a studio there called G Jam. And so, right, that's if you the one go, that I've heard about. It is, it's like the one, like Georgia Smith just did a whole album there. Oh, so. beautiful. I can't imagine. Girl, let's go. Yeah. Let's go have some coconuts. Wait, are you vegan? Pretty much. Okay. I was going to say we could go to Piggy's and get some chicken, but. Hold on, let me tell you about my veganism. I'm not perfect, okay? Every once in a while, 
you know, I'll have a little something. So, you know, a like, <laughs> just go straight to pork. Yeah, I just go all the all the way to beef. <laughs> no, um, no, I'm I'm like 85% plant based. And then I'm also human and I do fuck up sometimes, you know, so I, w I would try some chicken in Jamaica is what I'm telling you. All right. I'm gonna have some chicken. Yeah, you know what I think about the me. whole veganism thing, though. Really quick, I just need to say it. Um, say it. We're all from different parts of the world, even though like we're all mixed up now. Right. I think we are supposed to be eating for our for where we are. No, for from where our people are from. Oh, so God. say if, my European people. What am I supposed to be eating? Potatoes, bitch. That sounds boring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I want more. <laughs> No, maybe, but like whatever was like in like the natural space. So say like fish, whoever had like my sister, she she lived in Alaska for a while, and she was saying that the indigenous people there they eat whale blubber, and like it's full of fat, and the amount of fat that they can handle from this whale blubber, usually people can't do that, like from other like other places, but their genetic makeup allows them to do that. So I was just that's just like a thought. No, I, like, I, I we're eating we're eating vegetables from all over the world in our veganism. So you know what I mean? Like if if those weren't available to us, what would we be eating? No, that's that's a great point. I mean, and there's there are other other diets that like um what what is the diet that follows or the way of eating that follows like a more caveman, you know, getting back to basic oh, the paleo? type of thing. Paleo. But it's like that that's taking it way, 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 way back. <laughs> Um, Let's so, take it back to our ancestors, like hella, yeah. hella. Yeah. So, so a little bit closer though is like okay. So yeah, if you grow up like in a coast, I mean, if your people are from a coastal place or if they're, you know, from inland or whatever, that that's interesting. Right. Yeah, like yeah, like uh, what was around you is what you would be eating, not like is is what what might be best for your body, yeah, your what's the best for your body. So. It's all so personal. Like I I don't I don't purport to know. First of all, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? And I'm just trying to figure it out for myself and what, feel, what feels best. Right. I've, but I've you're been, doing good because you're really fit and you look great. And so are you. Like, have you been working out at home? Because that has just been oh, such a, such a drag. It's hard. I, like, at the beginning. Um, you stay with a six pack. So I don't know how you do it. Girl, that's lighting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Same. 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 <laughs> But no, at the beginning of quarantine, I like was on my way to Trader Joe's and walking down the hill and like my hip came out of place. I don't even know. I can't with your hip I going did, out of place. I did a misstep somewhere. <laughs> Hold on. Some, someone in the comments said, how do you season the whale blubber? I'm curious about that too. I'll have to ask my sister. She's in the kitchen actually cooking up a vegan meal for me. Oh. So, but we had that talk earlier. But I don't know. I mean... They probably put some salt and pepper on that bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had any. She said it's really strong though, so you can only have like a little piece. You can't have the whole thing. Yeah, I'll I'll stop with a little piece. I won't get greedy when I try my whale pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just cut off just a little bit. No, Share the rest. Yeah. Well, I am trying to get back into working out. My yoga mat is right there, taunting me. I know, so, right? So it's like, uh, but I can't stop snacking. What have yeah. you been eating? Um, last night I had three slices of pizza. You're on that New York shit. Yeah, I'm like, I had three slices of pizza. But okay, I but you, you as a New Yorker, like, where do you like pizza here in LA? I Uber eat. I, I, I don't. There's this place on Hollywood Boulevard because, like, I live in Hollywood. Okay. In Hollywood Canyon. Mm -hmm. And there's this place called Pepe's and this place on Hollywood. I don't get really picky here because I know okay. it's just going to be. <laughs> it's still going to disappoint you in the yeah. end. Yeah. I still have to add ingredients. Once it comes, I'll be like, I'm going to need to put some more garlic, some more salt. Yeah. People are saying Little Caesars. Little Caesars? No, I, I know. Don't. Yeah, I don't know about that. Elevate. Elevate. <laughs> I was oh. just... I have a little tiny garden off my kitchen. I mean, I don't even have 
I don't have a yard, but I have like this garden on my balcony that I've started a little bit. And me and my producer Lito were just talking about making an herb trade. Like that's where we're at in our lives. He's like, I'll trade you some mint for some of your chives. I'm like, that's got you, bro. Fire! <laughs> yes. Wait, so what you're... are you growing? Seriously, like what are you growing? The only things that are actually thriving are my scallions. So I made, um, they're quite. <laughs> the scallions are dope. Like, so I made, I made, a, I made a jerk sauce. And I, you Ooh. needed hella scallions. And I was like, oh, I got that. Like, yeah. ready to go. That's so. the dream. Like, being able to, like, grow your own food. I'm sure in, like, five years, that is going to be, like, money. Incredibly valuable. Some, I, some, somebody in the comments, I just have to say, let you know, said, men, if you want fresh balls, you better start eating fruit. Okay? I don't know. Excuse me? What? <laughs> what? If you want fresh balls? You want fresh balls? Start eating fruits and vegetables, man. Oh my god! All right, sorry. If you, <laughs> ladies, if you want fresh vaginas, start drinking cranberry. Juice. You want fresh punani. <laughs> Stay hydrated, ladies. <laughs> Aww, Jojo. Girl, so I didn't know what we were gonna face. do tonight. Yeah, what do you? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know where this um, these drinks were gonna lead us. <laughs> I don't know if you had five tough questions for me to answer. Oh God, um, five tough questions. So I already no, got. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just, I just, I just remember the last time we talked, like seriously, and it was just at your studio session. And I, I have to say, I I text you this already, but I have to say, like watching you put your project out your whole new album and the whole process of it you have really inspired me to like very much um just be myself and let go and be free because you you did that for me when you came to the airbnb i mean it's did I? I don't yeah. know we always look at each other, but I'm Yeah, always... Diana, I really need you to know that because when you, you, and you said some shit to me that I really needed to hear, you know, you were like, because I was very much still looking for approval and acceptance and still trying to figure out what, what my voice was in this new time in my life. And like, I was, I just had a lot of uncertainty and you came in 100%, what I gathered as 100% <laughs> yourself, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah. this bitch is the prototype. You are just, I just loved how you took, you made sense of all of your eclectic inspiration and made it 100% you, you know what I mean? And, and that- yeah, I always say it, but I, when it comes down to it, I don't know if I always put it out there, like fully put the whole vision out there and you did. And I was I, like, my execution is not as good as yours. So. That's a damn lie. But I mean, whatever. It's, isn't it funny? Me and my girls will say this often. It's like our perception of ourselves versus yeah. how other people see us. It is, it is unbelievable because I just, I see what you're doing and it's honestly, it gives me chills. It really does. I am so happy for you. And it's, it's so important. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking ill. And I think I'm actually, I, I don't know if you know this or if you even said okay to this. I think I'm cutting a song that you wrote. Girl, I think I, is it the, no, 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 one thing. Yes. One thing. That shit's fire. It when is I, fire. When I, I, when that song came about, it was like me. Um, you sound funny. fucking ill on it. You're like, you're ill grovelly. I was trying to sing it the other night. I'm like, no, I love that song. Don't make me put that. my toes on the I computer. love that. <laughs> 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 you know what? actually i was just like i'm so used to writing and stuff and i know you are too but like i was recently just like i want i have so much to say and sometimes i get in my own head and i like i want some more writing flow like some more people to help me tell my story yeah you, you want to collaborate more than yeah okay it's, it, it is so much about finding that comfort right. as you that know part. Because yeah, right. we'll go on 50 first dates and then see, and, and you're, you're just such a, a force on your own that I, I'm sure it can be. It's crazy. Because it's hard. You know, when you do to like, I feel like I do so many genres. You and do. So and so things. authentically. 
I know, and it all feels real. And so I'm, I need yes. somebody to be like, bitch. This is <laughs> what we're doing today, bitch. I was like, today? You're going to get it together. You're going to do this. Write a trap and be song, Diana. Right. And so I need, I need to focus. And I think that's what I see, like, from you that I found that you do what you do really well and you made a lane for yourself. And I think that, like, that's what I need to do because I'm a little scattered right now. I I'm scattered that. in amazing ways and all these yes. artsy, cool ways that I love and they're all authentically me. But it's just like... It is overwhelming when you can do everything. It is overwhelming. And it sounds like, a, like a, <laughs> oh, I can do everything so well. But, but, it's, but people don't, they, it's not bragging, it's frustrating. It's, 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 it's frustrating when, yeah, because you... But but anyway, what I'm saying is that I I think you're doing a great job of, of honing it in because I don't know when I listen to your album when I listen to Wasted Youth it it feels like totally refreshing and not I don't know how to how to identify it as a genre but I think that's necessary don't you yeah. I think that yeah. I'm tired I mean, of experimentation is definitely needed and I feel like I have that but just to like internally like give it some more direction so i feel you yeah so P I, you know i i feel like i just feel scattered and that's so yeah. i i want when i you appreciate feel your yourself, honesty huh? yeah i feel scattered but i feel like i do give i do give the most like all all of my art inside of me all of my heart everything i put it into what i do you're such a soulful human being. You, you, you do have so, even in that, um, even in the song that you wrote when you came to the, the, you know, the house I had rented, even that, which is like about sex and about like, you know, just going wild and shit, even that. You could just send it to me. I don't remember. You don't have it? I have so many songs. I know, I know, I know. They're, okay, just, I they're just floating. I know, I understand. I'm going to send it to you because it's, you're going to want to twerk on the wall. It's, it's that vibe. Do you think you're going to ever use that one? I don't, because I don't remember it, but. You know. uh, I don't know. Part of me now thinks that I want to. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll send it to you. Yeah, send it to me. I can yeah. just listen to. I have so many songs. I'm like, ooh, I love this hook. I might put it in, um, I put it in another song, put it in this song or I write a song like the one you're cutting and it's just like this is not for me this is not my lane even though it feels right. good it's not it's you know it's meant for someone else like you're like a Whitney Houston Whitney didn't write her own songs but she sure did own them bitches mm. <laughs> and so Woo. I just yeah I'm I, I, we I'm all are gonna, yeah I'm trying yeah. but I'm, I'm over here I'm actually this is my First day. Um, I'm People in... are asking you about a song, by the way. They're saying, "Oh, they well, are." Well, they inspired you to write "Come Back." Everybody's like, "Oh, that." Back, oh my back. god. Well, I see. It's funny because I see different uh, questions than you do. But oh, what in... yeah. What inspired me to write "Come Back"? Uh, shit, being horny. You know, that's what inspired me. <laughs> very, very plain and simple. I was just like, "Wow, I imagine how intense it'll be when, hopefully, whatever." How are people shooting such amazing videos in the house right now? I'm like, I can't believe. Yeah, I do. I just did the the video in my friggin' crib. But that I was, was cool. Thank you. I did it with um two people, and then my mom helped. <laughs> she just helped tell me like if I looked okay. I was like, do I should I arch my back more? Could you imagine? No, when you was up against the wall like this, standing, I was like, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Today is my first day back in the studio, and I had to. Um, everybody's wearing masks, and they take your temperature. Have you? I don't know if you've been to a spot yet. No, I'm ready to go back. I'm like, is it is this socially acceptable again? I don't. Know. I don't know, but but, but 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 it's like a four person minimum, and they um, take your temperature when you enter and exit, and it's the whole thing. So, um, what studio is this? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll text you. Right, <laughs> I forget that we're not on FaceTime. Right. <laughs> I gotta remind myself. <laughs> oh God, what are they doing is that? <laughs> uh, I hope I didn't just get anybody in trouble, but... Uh, I know, right? Yeah, I hope I'm not doing... Well, you know... It's, um, Unlo unlawful gatherings. Of more. I know. Burp, burp. 
Okay. <laughs> the cops come outside. Damn. No, I'm ready. I'm so ready to to get back in the studio. That's like the one thing I want to do. There's like, I've been doing the lives and painting and creating in the house and doing the shoots, but I just want to make music. What kind of paints do you use? Oh my god. Look. Yeah. Let me yeah. See. Acrylics wow. and oil paints and crayons. Oh, I love the how bold the pigments are. Yeah, it's like. I got the whole setup. My living room Definitely. is it's cozy, cozy for TV, cozy for drawing, cozy for writing. Oh, that's beautiful. I just um, I just started like learning piano and been taking lessons on YouTube and stuff, and and then cooking. So that's been my outside of. You learned piano during quarantine. I'm trying. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a neophyte, but yeah, yeah I love it. Fledgling. I took some piano lessons when I was like in high school. Actually, because I went to LaGuardia, which is the right like, performing arts school in New York. It's like we get college level like music classes. But my teacher, Mrs. X, she was like Mrs. X. Her name was Mrs. X, and she had Power. been in school since the, the first the school opened in like 1920. Like she she'd been with the school so long, so tight. and so. No, she was like, she I, she was like a hundred years old, and she I mean, <laughs> this lady had been playing piano since she was born, so her fingers had taken shape, and so they were like this, and it was like, how are we supposed to learn from this lady? Like, how am I supposed to learn how to play? And I and or she was like, you, you in the back over there. <laughs> <laughs> the with a witch class, finger with the finger and her, the whole class would lean to the side and go who me and like we do our do re mi fa so la ti do like the symbols and stuff like that and try to learn from her and it was impossible but you have a foundation I do have a foundation now I can yeah. read music and like I know see I, I know the foundation but I needed a little bit more than this you, and, and you produce yeah I do like not in like a traditional sense. Okay. Like I hear it and I'll say play it or I play it with my mouth and then say like, um, "Can you repeat that?" Mm. I wish I could. I wish I took guitar. Like I wish my mom made me do a lot of things that I didn't do. I know. I feel that way too. Even though in the moment I would have been like, "No, I don't want to." You know, of course. But like, I wish right. you made me. Right. I hear about like all like the horror stories of like kids and their parents as like. Yeah, my mom was not a stage mom. No, she's another, yeah. See, yeah. It, well, it's the stage moms that, that <laughs> like, just, just a tiny bit of abuse. I know. Can you just... Gets you a little... Gets you a little bit further. Huh? <laughs> Took us a little just, bit further. Yeah, just, just get me that extra mile. And, like, I was like, Mom, I wish with all, like, the yelling you did, it was to do something. <laughs> I, I know. Like, Why don't you... Why don't you like hit me because I didn't play the piano or go to dance school? Like, why waste it? Oh like, no! <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's like everybody's thinking it, and I'm not saying it. It's everyone who had like a real like momager. They had fucking problems afterwards, but you know. Did manage you too? Huh? Did your mom manage you as well? She managed me for like a good year and she couldn't do it. But a she year. was trying to get me to like do Broadway shows. So okay. she would take me to auditions for like The Lion King and like, you know, stuff like that. But, and she would always like, there was always like a Jewish man in my neighborhood always trying to buy people's houses. <laughs> and my mom, anytime anybody of like affluence or whatever came to the door for anything, she'd be like, Diana, go sing a song. Like anybody, the Jehovah Witnesses. No, they were the kind of witness. Yeah. I, yeah, she was like, "My daughter's gonna sing Pocahontas, Colors of the Wind for you. Stand right there." <laughs> Have you ever heard the wind? Yeah. My mom, oh, she, that, was, that was her thing. But yeah, I mean, I, she did, she did, you know, make sure I got into LaGuardia. So I have to say thank you for that. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, mom, because. Diana's fly, and you're doing you're doing really fucking beautiful, awesome thing. Thanks, mom. Yeah. Um, well, my, so when this is over, are we gonna work out? 
No, oh, fuck. I have to go back to the to what I'm recording. So huh? I have to go back to the studio. I mean, am I going to work out oh, tonight? Oh, girl. Oh, when this oh, yes. Girl. First of all, are you I, in the studio? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You go, girl. Yeah. Well, you got to keep it up. Well, okay. I, yeah, I just have a little secret secret ting that I want to work on. So I was still like, oh, nice. please, right. please get me oh. in there. But 100%, please. All right. Hi, Josh. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. It's me and my friend. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, have a great Friday. And, and I'm sorry for what you're not doing this Memorial Day weekend, but imagine you're on a boat. Yes. You know? My yeah. sister's here. We're going to have fun. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend. Diana, I'm going to text you. Let's chop it up. And um... yeah, and Jamaica in like three weeks. <gasps> oh, don't make I think sad. if they open back up the port, let's go. Whenever, whenever they open back up the port, I'm ready. Yep. All right. I love you. I love you too. Happy Friday. Good to see you. You too. Bye, baby. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.